Los Angeles. You have a show tonight? I don't have a show tonight. Um, I have a show tomorrow at the Comedy Store, and I had a show Wednesday night at the Laugh Factory. That went very, very well. It was awesome. A lot of laughs were manufactured. Oh, we made so many laughs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look for the union label. It is. No, it's just, what, Cody? I was going to say, it is wild to see that world-famous logo and you standing in front of it with a mic. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy yeah. to see because I've seen that all over. It was a really cool show. Like, it was packed. And they're, I mean, they're classic comedy clubs, so it's packed out. They're right up on the stage, and they're there to laugh. And it's just like any comedy club anywhere. It's a lot of tourists. It's a lot of, you know, middle-aged couples with kids, which is, I'm like, I know how to do that. I can thrive in that situation. I did really well, and the booker was super complimentary. And he was like, hey, you're going to be here next week. I'll give you some spots, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, I leave Monday. But he was sure to give me, you know, make sure you, you call me next time you're in town, yada, yada. So that, that felt awesome on Wednesday night. Met a lot of really cool people, and then, you know. You didn't get bumped by any walk-ons? I did not get bumped because the most famous person came, like, right after I got off stage. Chris D'Elia walked in. So it was like, oh, okay. Oh, he's back on the ends? He's performing, yeah. I, I his, see his name on like uh, Ron call up, sheets yeah. and rundown lists and stuff. It's so yeah. great to be white. Um, it's so he, great to be white. I was expecting a documentary or whatever, docu-series. This material, I've always been a Chris D'Elia fan, which is something that Bill and I have disagreed on <laughs> pretty hard over the years. Um, but this material that he's doing, it's like the first time he's ever done anything personal. So he's talking about like his family and what happened to him and he has a kid. And it's it's actually a really good That sound. sounds like a nice departure from acting like you're black. It, it was a very good set. Mm. And it was super personal. And I, you know, I enjoyed it. But um, there was probably there was probably no other way for him to go at that point, though. Right. That's probably the smart move. You can't go back to just telling like, the life's crazy, right? You know what I mean? Like, you Well, you definitely can't talk about uh, girls and stuff as the way he was. So. <laughs> right. Oh, God. Right. Ah, boy. A lot but of dating I, uh... material. Now, listen, everybody, uh, everybody loves a redemption story, right? Yeah. Lose a couple of gigs along the way, but like Pound Cake said, it must be great to be white. And I'm here to tell you, Cody. Pretty awesome. It is. Uh, listen. I got a show night, too. <laughs> Is it in L.A.? No, it's in yeah. Akron, the L.A. of <laughs> Summit County. Yeah! <laughs> right the, there on the beach. At the West Theater. The West Theater. Yes, it's in Is that beautiful. ironically on the east side? Uh, it's in Barberton, so I don't oh. know where it is, other than it's in Barberton. But, uh, so that uh, starts at 8 tonight, and I believe it's $10. And then you uh, don't just get comedy. It's uh, going. We're going to do comedy before a movie premiere. Made hey. by some local people, which I'm probably not going to stay for. But <laughs> the West gonna, Theater yeah. says more than just movies. The West Theater dot com. This is on Worcester Road in Barberton, Ohio. And Bill Squire will be there tonight. Mm-hmm. But get there early, because if you get there when the movie starts, he will not be there. Now, it's comedy first. So there's going to be comedy like an first hour, hour stand up comedy, then an hour and a half movie. Uh, about Science Boy. You can look up Science Boy on YouTube and see what that's all about. Science uh, Boy's High School Reunion is the name of the film. Movie premiere and comedy show with Bill Squire from WMMS. That's me. Hey, that is you. Yeah. Hey. So this is a local independent film that was made? Or? Yes, yes. Okay. So they've done like a web series uh, with Science Boy, and now they've uh, made it into a whole film. So hmm. I mean, Rated R. So that means it's going to be boobs. Maybe you're not playing Wordle. Maybe you're playing at Loodle, where it's all swear words. That might be the show for you. That one's actually hard because you're like, I think I know swear words, but I can't think of five letter ones. They're usually four letter. Swear words. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Boobs. boobs. I tried boobs. boobs and it was, yeah. That the one didn't work. Yeah. Not for the. We can't say a lot of them on. Yeah. There. No, it's not know. five letters. Boobs. Oh. I don't know if you've heard of. It the is five, le- but it's not boobs. the. It it uh, you got to guess the right word. You can't just say a five letter word. Mm, I right see. One. All right. Well, everybody on the text in the break was telling me to get on Wordle. So it's a lot of fun. It's fun. Again, I'm not opposed to it. I just didn't pay any attention to it, and I saw everybody posting, and I assumed that if you played, it auto posted for you. Because no. why else would you no. do it? No. But okay. Well, maybe I'll get on there and and play around with it. L A equals Lower Akron. I'm being told. All right. There you go. Well, this isn't in Lower Akron, right? Well, Barberton's kind of the lower part. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay. So there you go. My girlfriend said she's going to take me to a nice uh, L.A. dinner tonight. Oh, are you going to go bestia? I don't know. In-N-Out Burger again? Oh, (laughs) good for you. God, that was so good, man. 
I could eat a hundred of those. Um, yeah, I can't unsee, by the way, that... The belly? P- yeah. <laughs> you didn't like that? Dude, I don't need that in my life. Alan, listen, sometimes you gotta look mm, at your body shaming. belly button. I'm not body shaming. I'm saying it, I came around the corner at 90 Maybe miles an hour, and there it is. And Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Was it not beautiful you, every size? Listen, Alan? you, you do you. She ha- she's all disheveled, and she's you got half a hamburger you. on her lap. And- Do you understand <laughs> that I ate that? Th- I don't think I took a breath. I ate that In-N-Out burger and all my fries in probably five or six minutes because I was just. Was that the night of your bad? Was that the night of that bad day, or was that before that? The bad show was Monday, and then Tuesday was the day I had In-N-Out. So, so you were eating your the- feelings. Yeah, yeah, I was feeling the sadness. All right. And then Wednesday, I had the really good show at Laugh Factory, and then yesterday I had that meeting, and I was down in Malibu. So it's just each day has increasingly got better. So. See, the day after an awful night or whatever, she houses an animal style in and out with fries. Mm-hmm. She has a nice day. She goes and has some fish mm-hmm. at the, uh, right there at PCH. Yep. Two mahis. in Malibu. Two mahis. Two mahi. <laughs> One mahi. Now, do you feel like a traitor to ketchup? Because animal styles cooked in mustard, and you're I always like F mustard. Mu- but you always say F mustard. F the mascot mustard. At the races. I enjoy mustard as a condiment. I don't like mustard as a person. She's as a person. I don't like anthropomorphic condiments, mm-hmm. Bill. Right. How, is that hard to. Oh, she, that's right. She's going to do. She likes the, the ketchup one, though. Yeah. So, yeah. Is he going to cancel his shows here? Ketchup? No, Kid Rock. No, why? Because he said he's not doing anything there where there's vaccine requirements. Oh, like bl- is he doing? Mandates. Is the show at Blossom? Yeah, it's at Blossom. I think they have. I don't know if they have mandates or not. It might be per. It's outside, so maybe they don't. They might. It not. might be per band, like whatever the band wants. It might not be the venue that has. But it's, I don't. They but are like Live a, Nation. They are Live Nation. I think Live Nation has a lot of, like any event that at. Uh, Rock and Mortgage Fieldhouse says Live Nation. They're supposed to check vaccination. You think he'd figure that out first? Or- Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. Cavaliers are off tonight and tomorrow night, and they'll be in Detroit on Sunday. Playing the Pistons at the Little Caesars Arena. It's an early-ish game. It's 6 o'clock, so 5.30 here on MMS is when that pregame coverage will begin. My Chicago Bears have hired Matt Eberflus as their new head coach, coming from the Indianapolis Colts. He's uh, he's the new guy uh, there at Hallis Field. They've initially uh, uh, announced that he might be the guy, and uh, he is the guy. 51 years old, replacing Matt Nagy, who knew he was on his way out. So at least they went for they go from Matt to Matt. Now you're saying to yourself, Alan, I'm not a Chicago Bears fan. I don't care what's going on with them. But I am, and I do. I think it's funny. And what are you gonna do about it? Because like the the people that He's from Toledo. He's a Toledo there native. We were there's just about Toledo. there's your hook. And he was with the Browns. He was with the Cleveland Browns for two seasons. About the same time I got to Cleveland, so did he. And now he's the head coach of my Chicago Bears. He worked for the Dallas Cowboys. He worked for the Indianapolis Colts. And now he's hoping to turn around uh, my beloved Chicago Bears. And the way the Colts season ended, wow, no wonder they got him. They're like, we got to get this guy that was coaching for the team that lost to the Jaguars <laughs> when uh, everything was on the line. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the interview process is already well underway at that point and they didn't hold it against him. Uh, I but, feel like uh, there's guys that are more successful that like would have a better shot at getting these jobs, but they're busy... Trying to win a Super Bowl, like Eric Bieniemy from <laughs> the Chiefs. Like every year, they're throwing his name around, like, "Oh, he could be the next guy. He could be the next head coach." And he's like, "Ah, I'm a little." Bit. Like they're hiring everybody. He's like, "Well, you can't hire me until the season's over, and my season goes longer than the Colt season." Right. So I guess I'll just stay here with the Chiefs. I'll just hang out. Yeah, so the Bears uh, interviewed a lot of people for that head coach spot. They talked to Brian Flores, who was a surprise firing from Miami. Uh, They talked to 
All kinds of people. They talked to Byron Leftwich, who's with the Buccaneers now. Yeah, and I a think whole bunch of people from the Bills. I think Byron Leftwich <laughs> is going to end up with the Jaguars, actually. Well, there you go. Uh, NFC AFC Championship weekend, weekend, weekend. Your Cincinnati Bengals against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, 3 o'clock on Sunday. And then the 69ers play the uh, Rams at 6.30 Eastern. Very exciting. And everybody in Cleveland cheer for the Rams because, one, the Rams used to be in Cleveland. They're, they're, I believe they started in Cleveland. And their favorite player is now on the Rams, Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, they're fa- <laughs> that's right. Their favorite player. That's mm-hmm. why they're all rooting. Yes. I was reading that nationwide people are rooting for the Cincinnati Bengals. I think for obvious reasons yeah. because they're such an underdog. Um, they're not. They're probably not going to get to the Super Bowl. But the majority of people polled across this country in 19 states, obviously 19 states, the vast majority of our United <laughs> States uh, are polling for the Cincinnati <laughs> Bengals. They have the lowest odds to win the Super Bowl. Uh, they're eight-point underdogs against the Chiefs. But the public loves an underdog. I would like to see... The 49ers win because Jimmy Garoppolo, everyone's crapping on him for throwing two touchdowns and five interceptions in the playoffs. And I want to see somebody underperforming get to the top. He can touch down on me, though. He can touch down on pound cake. I crap all over Janine Garoppolo for the truth about cats and dogs with Uma Thurman. And now, just because she's a famous actress and comedian and she thinks that she can lead a football team... To the Vince Lombardi Trophy, pa Lee's. It's that's not going to happen. It's a different person. I don't know what you're talking about. Janine Gra- all people are telling me, oh, Janine Garofalo, you give her a hard time, but she's in the championship game. <laughs> Despite being like four feet tall. She's little. Yeah. But so quick. Just, I don't need, so quick. She can run. Bengals, t- Bengals took most of the states east of the mighty Mississippi, which uh, comes as a shock to no one. The Chiefs came in second. The Rams were third. And the 49ers nationally are um, the least rooted for team. But whatever. So we'll see what happens. The Super Bowl will probably be Chiefs-Rams, Right. Yeah, I All think things so. being yeah. equal, Chiefs, yeah. Rams. That's that's the safe bet. Mm. But you never know. Any given Sunday is what they should start saying. Did you just make that up? Mm-hmm. That's cool, man. They yeah, should start that. doing that. Like they should that. say because like you never know what's going to happen. Because these I mean. games are on Sundays. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. about the Saturday or Thursday or Monday games? No, no, shut no, up no, about no, those. No. Yeah, oh, that okay. doesn't go with what I'm trying to say. Every Thursday. Yeah. But any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. Yeah. You're not going to have. Like, Sunday, anything can happen. Thursday, you kind of know what's going to happen. Yeah, and you got to go to work in the morning. I guess but you, you also have to go to work in the morning after the Sunday games, too. Different. Mm. It's a it's different, a yeah. You at least had your whole weekend to enjoy it. I see. What's Is going on? What, yo, what, what, what are you saying? I don't hear him. Is he on the phone? No, he's not no, even on the mic. He's he's Jimmy just, Garoppolo. What about him? I said, he's so pretty, I hate him. You hate him because he's pretty. I would think you'd like him because he's pretty. Hate him because he ain't him. That, and he has like the salt and pepper hair now, so he has like grays. Oh. But yeah. All right. Well, there you go. The salt and pepper hair. Just venting. You hate him because he's attractive. That's usually your favorite quality in a person. That's my only quality. In a person. Well, I didn't want to say it. I wanted to let you say it. Yeah, you let me say it. My only quality in a person is there. He's attractive. Huh. And I hate him because of it. I hate that, that I'm that shallow that I know this dude would probably not pay me the time of day. But, oh, come on. But I still love him. I'll be a loyal fan. I'm like, ooh, let me, let me get this 69ers jersey. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy that played uh, for the Patriots, he was ripping into Jimmy Garoppolo. This guy, Martellus Bennett. He said, you can't win with a bitch for a quarterback. <laughs> Whoa. This guy's not pulling any punches. Uh, I mean, the guy's just trying to win some football games, but uh, wow. All right. Hey, thanks again to DJ 
Jake C., who has submitted a couple of things, and he submitted another uh, piece of audio to us, pulled from the show, when we were talking about Canadian music. He put something together. In Canada, they're required to play a certain percentage of Canadian bands, so that helps a lot, too, on the radio when you're getting airplay mm -hmm. by law. Your next song coming up, uh, by law, <laughs> the Bare Naked Ladies. Ah, uh, it's Ben. He's good at that. You do the, the first two words. Oh, I'm of, great at the first two words. Of uh, every song. It's Ben. <laughs> right. Thank you, Jake. I like when people take clips of the show and manipulate them. Yeah. I wish I hadn't just said that. Nevertheless, <laughs> uh, in that way, it's uh, fun and silly and entertaining. So thank you. We would never do that, though, to each other. We would never just take something out of context and then just play it to try and embarrass somebody on the show. No, correct. When you grab it, you'll feel how firm it is. <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah, you will. Tonight you in the West Theater will. in Lower Akron. Yeah, that's Can I right. Say LA. Huh? Really quick. You may not. Okay. So, Bill. Yes. Go ahead, Mary. Basketball. I don't watch the live stream, obviously, when I'm in studio. We can't see it. And uh, not very often do I go back to rewatch it. Uh, and, Bill, the amount that you play to the camera. You're, it's so aggravating. <laughs> he like purposely switches to himself, like raises an eyebrow, and he's. Like, you do? You'll <laughs> switch for. Disgusting. You'll yeah. do camera takes on the show. And he will. Why wait. wouldn't I? Yes. He will <laughs> literally wait until the opportune moment, switch to himself, fix his hair, and then say something funny. And then he's got me. I'm like, my belly's out. And I got a leg up, and I'm like, what do you think about pierogies? <laughs> So and petty. It's just, you know the camera's there. I know the camera's there, but you are controlling it. So every time it switches to you, you look perfect. You're ready to say a joke. <laughs> like you're always. I never noticed. Ain't that. nobody gonna tell me how to live. All I'm gonna say is, you know, there's a camera on you the whole show. I understand that, but what I'm so like is, your your posture and stuff like that, like you're aware. Never gonna change. That's who I am. Well, listen, it's 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 uh. In kind of the same way where everybody is at the mercy of the audio I play, you are at the mercy of Bill's camera takes. But what I'm saying is He's like Kubrick over here. He needs 50 to get a good one. Sometimes, like if Cody says something funny and the camera will accidentally be still on you, Alan, so we won't see like Cody saying it. But Bill never <laughs> accidentally an on me. <laughs> well, yeah. Still on him with the perfect frame and his eyes and hair and body posture just right. Well, I also have the same posture pretty much the whole show because I can't move away from the iPad to do any like I can't lean back really because I have to be able to touch the screen. Bill to has jump to be the fixed cameras. in a yeah. position. So I'm always pretty much in the same posture anyway. And then I the only person that I know is going to speak at a certain time, is me. Well, so, anticipate our needs more. And I, figure out when we're each going to say something funny. I try my best. <laughs> I, sometimes honestly, I Listen, sometimes I put it on you, and it, I, I thought the funny was going to be there. It's just never... <laughs> I, just didn't, I just didn't realize how much you played to the camera. I didn't realize how much you, like... I thought everybody knew that. I, I, I can't believe you're just now noticing this. For Bill? Yes. Did you know that? Yes, I've been seeing it. I didn't think it was didn't a big know deal. I, I would do the same thing. I look at. I can't walk past a mirror without looking in it and making sure. Oh God! My I, little I, follicles are hair still there. If Cody was in charge, of the there, live there would be nobody else on the live stream. <laughs> right, it would just be him. Pound kick the whole time. I forget yeah. that the cameras are there. To be quite honest with you, I really forget. you're supposed to. Yeah, I I don't play to the camera at all. I forget it's there unless I'm reading something and I want the people. Well, now I want to go back and watch the the video segments. Oh, yeah, they're all, it, Bill's stuff is perfectly timed. And perfectly Why were you timed. watching? I Because I'm on in L.A., so I can see, like, the, the, the video stream live because I'm, like, plugged in separately. So she, I have she's on a different feed, up. so she oh, sees, see. she sees see. what I'm switching to. Yes. So she sees see live when time. you switch to yourself before you say something? Yes. <laughs> and I nail it. <laughs> I like that it bothers her so much. I don't know why it does. Maybe I don't either. Yeah, it's probably. jealousy, probably. It's usually, usually when something bothers me a lot, it's either because my ego is hurt or I'm jealous. Well, that's so. silly. Right. Whatever. That's just negative but, energy. But you don't again, need that. What I'm going to reiterate is you are allowed to have better posture on the show. No, I'm not. Mary, what did I tell you when you I said sit up? 
and you thought I was breaking your balls. Nope. You never said that. Of course, I remember I was. I told her, I go, hey, like laying back and all that. We were goofing. We were like doing a bit. And I go, yeah, if you sit up, you'll be on uh, camera the whole time. Whatever. This is what I'm talking about. Listen, it's nine degrees that, that, in that the, studio. The whole <laughs> uh, thing about like wrapping you up in the, like, I was just like trying to tell you like, hey, let's try to make the live stream look. We'll make it not 62 degrees in there and I won't use a blanket. Mm, nope, that keeps that keeps my fingers nice and uh, frosty, right. <laughs> so I can change screens easier. <laughs> Whatever. You want them warm and supple. Yeah. Yeah, and then they're too slow, and then I can't. Too warm. slow. Yeah, if I, it's too warm in there, my fingers get sleepy. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then I'm not going to be able to do my camera takes that Mary loves. <laughs> God, I hate it. God, I hate it so much. He does this like he like turns his little face, and he's like, mm, he's I know my angles. <laughs> I didn't know you were doing takes. Yes, he is. That's he funny. <laughs> well, sometimes, like a lot of it is just reacting to whatever's happening. It's not as thought out as you'd think. But there are sometimes like when Pound Cake's saying something. I will do like an office type look at the camera because <laughs> I know he's saying he something ridiculous and I'll just be like, really? And not even say anything. And uh, But p- people that watch it appreciate it. You're the director. Yeah. He's the Mr. Roper of the show. You're Norman Fell. Mm-hmm. Three's Company, they used to cut to Norman Fell all the time and he'd mug for the camera. Mm-hmm. So Bill's mugging for the camera. Yes. Yes, I am. I just never but if pound cake, if pound cake's being funny, why are you cutting away from him? No, because no, he no. He wants it to be on him. Because it's not necessarily that like pound cake's being funny on purpose. I'm being. Ridiculous. I know he's saying something ridiculous, and he doesn't even know he's saying ridiculous. So I'll cut to me quickly doing something, and then right back to him. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the attention whore. <laughs> we're all attention whores. Yeah, we, we are be all we attention. attention whores. Of course, we want attention, but I just happen to have the control. Of the video. He's running the switcher. But once we're in the new studio, it's supposed to be automatic. Mm. So I'm going to see how that works and if it's as good as... Like, I would love to just let that be the thing, but if it's not good, then I'll still switch it. <laughs> Bill goes, because I want to know. Uh, this is, yeah, I think this well, is going to... I'm going to have to manually override this, guy. But also because... Uh, this technology is not yet perfected. But, uh, but what I'm more, more worried about is because they said the cameras are on the boom arms. Yes. And I'm hoping they have also, like... An over like like a, something that picks up the entire room because if those cameras on the boom arms don't look great, we'll have to figure. They can't else be up out. our noses. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, you think you're upset now, Mary? <laughs> Just wait till that camera is up your nose. Mm. Yeah, whatever. I'm not worried. About, I'm not upset about the that my posture is bad. It's just that he is able to control when it switches to him and mm-hmm. it look exactly perfect. Every no, time. that's the right. sacrifice. But if you were just... I'm not going to wear makeup. No, no, no I'm, I'm not saying it. I'm but you could... You, you could would just, smile more. <laughs> you could just, like, play to the camera a little bit. You know they're there. And if you're talking, it's probably on you. Is this better? I'm looking at it this time. It yeah. doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Nothing. Seems like it matters. Oh, she Just went from nothing matters. Wow. All right. I'm going to take a break. If you're trying to get your fingers warm or cold on those Slipknot tickets, I'll have the last pair for you. After this break, the Slipknot Roadshow is going to be at the Romo Fijo on April the 4th. So you'll get that last pair from me there. And then 530, next chance to grab some money, $1,000. Listen for that keyword to go fund 